Do you believe that the value of your product or service is directly tied to how hard it is to produce and how many hours it takes you to deliver? Do you think that if you didn't have to work as hard or put in as many hours, you couldn't charge as much for your product or service? Or are there things you know you could implement in your business, people, product, or service that could alleviate the pressure, but for whatever reason you found reasons or excuses not to do that? My name is Corey Harlock and I'm the creator of Key Hire. And if you answered yes to any or all of those three questions, you might be addicted to chaos. So what do I mean by chaos? Here's how I define it. Chaos is a business that has outgrown its process, procedure, the experience and capacity of people in the building. Chaos is a $10 million a year business operating on a $2 million a year process. Now, chaos can be very expensive. Chaos can lead to sky high operating costs and very low productivity. Uh, chaos can lead to skyrocketing labor and turnover. Chaos can lead to high cost of goods sold and at, at the end of the day, low profitability. Chaos steals money from your bank account. So how do we eliminate the chaos from our business? I think we need to start with the realization that for it, that is for a business to grow, it has to transform. What got us here won't get us there. And to scale, we can't just do more of what we've always done. There's just not enough hours in the day. The other thing we need to look at is if we need to improve process and procedure, do we have the people in the building that can do that? And if we have them, why haven't they already done that? And we can go out and buy all the fancy software and tracking systems we want. But we, if we don't have people in the building who have the time and the knowledge and the experience in managing those, they're going to be relatively ineffective. So I always start with the leadership, hiring people with the experience and the capacity you need in your business. Someone who has more experience than your business needs today so they can look at those constraints and start removing them. Now, we're never going to eliminate all the chaos. We're always going to have some, but our goal is to minimize it and have as little as possible. So let me leave you with one final question. If your business were to grow 20% tomorrow, would you be able to handle it? How does that make you feel? Would you be afraid of that type of increase? Leave your comments below. I'd love to know what you think about this addicted to chaos topic. Let's start a conversation. And if you're a business owner who's living in chaos or thinks they're living in chaos and you'd like to pick our brain and leverage our knowledge, there's a link down below here for our free 15 minute brainstorming session. No charge, no obligation, no strings, just good conversation to try to help small business owners. So until, until next time, stop grinding and start growing.